What's up, guys? So check this out. This is really weird. Listen to the wording that they are using on a minor planet that they're calling it that is 400 meters wide that is going to be possibly coming close enough to be seen in our atmosphere. So they say there may be a rare meteor shower, or rather a meteor storm with thousands of shooting stars this weekend. This is uh, Sunday morning. And in this other headline, just listen to the language they're using. There's a opportunity to see some actual fire in the sky. So they say meteor storms are meteor showers on steroids and thousands of rocky debris fall through the atmosphere, creating cosmic fireworks. They say this 2006 GY2 asteroid is known as a double minor planet it may provide dense stream of debris. And predicting if and when it's going to happen is not exactly precise. They're saying right there that they don't know if this is going to be close enough to hit our atmosphere or not. Then they say the minor planet that is 400 meters wide is in orbit with another one that is 80 meter wide. So... They just came out, They, uh, I don't know if this will hit us or not. I don't think they do either. They would never come out with an article saying that we're going to be struck by anything. But it's saying right here that a 400 meter wide asteroid could come close enough to be burning up in our atmosphere. Now to put that into perspective, the Tunguska event, they say was 50 to 80 meters and this was an airburst that completely leveled forests. Now, supposedly the meteor that hit Arizona, that left the big meteor crater, was 30 to 50 meters in diameter. And in case you've never seen it, that's supposedly what left this. And I'm not speaking to how accurate their calculations are or anything, but that's just what size they say caused those impacts. This one... <laughs> five times uh, larger than that? Quote, while the density of the debris field is unknown, the fact that this object is a double minor planet may provide a dense stream of debris. Now, they don't say anywhere in the article, oh, don't worry about that big 400 meter one. Um, and they say that we're likely to go through the debris field of it, but if they're not sure if we're going to see the debris field or not, then it's pretty obvious that their calculations aren't spot on about this. They say the time of closest approach, meaning the debris field will enter the atmosphere or not, because they're not real sure, uh, is 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time. That's what, 2.20 a.m. Pacific and this will be happening overhead of U.S. and Mexico. So uh, there's also a lunar eclipse Sunday night, just coincidentally enough. But uh, this is definitely going to be worth getting up early and watching. Now, I'm not trying to tell anybody that there's a 400 meter wide asteroid that is hurtling towards Earth right now that's going to be actually close enough in our atmosphere if newtonian physics are correct but there's a 400 meter <laughs> asteroid that's gonna maybe be close enough to hit our atmosphere or the debris field they're not real sure so if this does happen it will definitely be worth watching and it may be just like the 1833 event i'll try to get a video out tomorrow before this and it was just that it was fireworks in the sky but it was crazy because some of the stuff they say is like exploding 10 feet off the ground so uh, i'll get back to you about that but i'll let you guys make up your own mind about the 400 meter and the 80 meter and the unknown density of the debris field that we might be seeing or might not seeing be seeing sunday morning static out